trying out some things I've never tried before, but I'm also excited because, gosh, you know, I do love beef, and this is going to be the beefiest burger that I have made here on Some Guy Who Cooks, and possibly the beefiest burger ever made. Who knows? You guys go ahead and tell me what you think. Real quick, sorry for those of you who are watching this after it's been live streamed because I want to share the link with uh, with with like my social media and stuff real quick so that people can uh, you know so they can see me going live. Um, because you know it's kind of an important thing, isn't it, that people know I'm doing this? So I'm going to share the link and uh, and then we'll get right into it. Okay, guys. Um, here we go. So. Oh, I'm on Facebook live right now on Some Guy Who Cooks, YouTube only. And there we go. The link has been posted so people can follow it and people can join and people can jump in. And uh, we're good to go, guys. All right. So we're streaming live. Hey, looks like one person has jumped in. Today, like I said, we're making the beefiest burger of all time. What I'm doing, our traditional our traditional uh, smash style burger is going to be 80-20 ground chuck, seasoned and smashed flat. It's going to be great. I'm going to take that one patty, and I'm going to wrap it in a cheese blanket. If you've never had a cheese blanket, here's what that is. Basically, you throw some cheese on the griddle, and uh, you, let it, you let it turn into a blanket. It's... It's going to get to the point where the bottom is a little bit crispy and the top is still that gooey cheddar. And then you take that and you wrap it around your burger. It's going to be fantastic. So not stopping there, though. After that, we're going to take some uh, some flat brisket and we're going to put that on top. Sorry, I got a phone call. It was definitely spam. We're going to we're going to put some some brisket flat that's been smoked on top of that. And then on top of that, we're going to put some braised brisket point, which is the most flavorful part of the brisket because of all the fat in there. Um, and then we're also going to top it with a couple kinds of barbecue sauce right on a wonderful Kaiser roll. I see Marie Hathaway has joined in, says, how's it going? It's going great. I hope it's going great for you, too. Huzzah! Thanks for being here. Good to see you. And uh, don't forget, guys, comment in the comments section there down below or wherever it is, and uh, you can get a shout-out as well. I'll go ahead and make sure that everybody knows you're here. Well, unless you don't want everybody to know you're here. Either way, before we get super started on this, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, share it with your friends. So, let's get to it, guys. I told you what's in it. Let's uh, let's get down to business. We're going to start with the burger patty, then move on to the cheese blanket, and then sear our smoked bri and braised briskets, okay? So, first things first, we've got our beef. Again, a, a big old tube of 80-20 ground chuck. I know it's, it's a tube, so it's kind of like, no, 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 but... Trust me, it's it's better than uh, than you might think. It's it's actually pretty good beef, um, especially if you're on a budget. If you're on a budget, it's great beef, um, and you can get it at Walmart. It's a little more pricey than the um, than the seventy three twenty seven or whatever it is, but I mean for for good reason. It's higher quality, less fat, but it's still a good fat content for a burger. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Wrap this and close it up and put it back in the fridge. I've got my nice big ball of beef here that is going to turn into our smash burger. Let me put this away because we don't want our beef sitting out. All right, guys. I've got our grill heating up, or griddle, rather. And I've also got some news uh, for those of you watching and for those of you who will be watching in the future. Um, Blackstone from my understanding, is coming out with an E-Series, which is an electric griddle meant for indoors. Now, Blackstone traditionally makes uh, propane-powered outdoor griddles, and they're the flat-top griddles. As soon as they come out with their one, uh, that the, their, their first one is going to be a 17-inch model. I'm going to take that, and uh, well, I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to be using that. And uh, my little griddle down here that I've been using, uh, if I get enough followers, I will give this griddle away. Of course, I'm going to clean it up real good, but I will give that one away if I get enough followers to uh, to one random lucky winner, and uh, and I'll be cooking on the Blackstone one instead. So uh, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Please share with your friends and get me more subscribers because, like I said, if I get enough subscribers, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just you know I'll sell it locally for for on the cheap because you know funding 
is something I don't have yet. I'm just going on all my own, uh, whatever I have. So here we go, guys. Um, let's get to it. I'm going to point you down at the, 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 the griddle now. We're starting off, of course, like I said, with our beef. We got a nice big ball of beef. Set it right down on the griddle. Turn that heat up, and we're going to smash it real good. And we're going to hold that for about 20 seconds. And let me come on the outside edge here because some of that came over. Three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, eight, 1,000, nine, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 15, 1,000. And I know I started before that, so that's probably good there. Look at that. It's a good smash on that. All right. And before I flip it over, I'm going to actually keep this side of the of the, the cast iron thing as well. We're going to give a light seasoning on our patty because, you know, honestly, we're going to have a lot of salt and different flavors coming from the briskets that I already cooked here. One of them is a smoked brisket. Like I told you, it's a flat. I covered in a lot of good stuff, guys, and uh, smoked it for a good while before sous vide cooking it. So it's very tender. And uh, I'm going to sear it up on the griddle here as well. It'll be really good. And the point got braised in my uh, Instant Pot with, uh, let's see, onion and garlic and all and, and chilies, all sorts of amazing flavors. So that's also going to be fantastic, you know, to die for. Um, maybe not actually die for it. Well, cook, I guess. Maybe all this fat and stuff could kill you, so be careful. But anyway, we got that one side going. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And I'm going to give one more press. I know most people don't, but I like to give it another press. Give it another 10 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right. I just like to get a good sear on both sides. Watch that splatter of the grease, guys. It's uh, it's hot and it can hurt. But, you know, I uh, guess I've gotten used to it after a month of cooking a bunch of burgers. So here we go. Get a little more salt. A little more accent. And a little more pepper right on our burger. Before it's done, I'll give it one more flip. But I want to give a good sear on that side right there. So while that's going, I'm going to sauce our bun, okay? So we've got here a Kaiser roll. Big Kaiser roll. And on the bottom here, I'm going to use some Carolina gold mustard sauce. It's a, it's a honey mustard mixed with hot sauce. I use Frank's Red Hot Buffalo sauce. And we're just going to give it a nice good swirl on here. We want it to be good and saucy. Uh, I, I like my burgers that way. I like all my sandwiches that way. See, I got a nice little bullseye here. Uh, of course, I like it more saucy than that, so I'm also going to give it a drizzle, a cross drizzle. And one more in this direction. We got a lot of beef here, guys, so we need a lot of juice. Of course, there's plenty of juice in the burger as well, but regardless. There's our Carolina mustard. And then on the other bun, the top bun, we're going to put your favorite barbecue sauce. Mine is Sunny Sweet Sauce with a little bit of apple cider vinegar added to it. Uh, sunny Sweet Sauce, by and far, is my favorite barbecue sauce, but it is all the much better when you also add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Trust me on that one, guys. So we're going to head and sauce the top bun here as well. Do it pretty much the same way we did the bottom bun. And be very liberal with this sauce, guys. Unless you don't like your sandwiches that saucy, but I do. So we're getting a nice, good coating of barbecue on here. And you can even add more than that if you like, but I'm just going with that for now. Mmm. Like I said, that is a good sauce. And now let's give this patty one more flip. Oh, yeah, we're getting a good char on there, guys. And you can see those juices coming out. So, this is pretty well cooked, I think. I'm going to set it down. I did rinse off this plate, so it's, it's, it's going to be fine. Set our burger to the side. And I'm going to pull our 
grease out of here because we don't want much grease while we're doing our cheese blanket. And this also needs to come off. And I will safely set it aside on a surface that can handle heat because uh, you really don't want to burn down your house with one of these, you know? And I'm also going to turn down the heat a little bit on this griddle because we're about to work with cheese. Woo, look at that smoke coming up. Once again, pull as much of that grease as you can. And get it into that drip tray. All right, give me one second here, guys. All right, that thing is safe now. So, still just get as much of that grease as you can. And if you can, go ahead. You can also tilt it like this to help with that. Right into that drip slot so it all drips away. You don't want this extra grease on here. You want to form a good cheese blanket. So, we got our nonstick surface. Perfect. I've got a nice big bag of cheddar cheese here. And uh, once again, guys, go ahead. Feel free to start asking questions if you like. If you have any questions, please post them. If you have any comments, please post them. I am here to, you know, I'm here for you, okay? And it looks like we still only got about two people in here right now. That's okay. Uh, we'll get uh, we'll get some more. Um, I'm sure we will. Um, but in the meantime, for those of you who are here, it's good to see you. So let me point this back down at the griddle so you can get a good view on this cheese blanket. I'm going to... Push it this way a little bit so you can see better. Oh, goodness. Not a lot of room on this countertop. That's okay. There we go. So, we've got our hot griddle top here. We're going to start adding our cheese now. Nice big handful of shredded cheddar. Don't be shy. And this is something that I haven't done before. I've seen it done, but I have not personally done it. I'm going to add a nice big handful of shredded cheddar. We want this stuff to melt down and, like I said, form a blanket. And I'll turn that heat up just a little bit because we do want it to work well here. This cheese is griddling nicely. We'll add some more. We really want it to spread out, okay? I'm making a big blanket here, guys, a big blanket of cheddar so we can actually wrap this beef patty in the cheddar, okay? That is the goal. Some people call it a blanket. Some people call it a cheese skirt. Whatever you want to call it, I call it delicious. I do love it when cheddar gets nice and crispy, but still has that gooey aspect of it. So you can see, oh, man, yeah, that, that looks amazing so far. Um, it's just going to get better as it goes. I think that's probably plenty right there, guys. What do you think? That's, yeah, this is going to be a lot of cheese. This is a heart attack waiting to happen here. Which is why next Saturday we're starting our new themed month. And uh, it's going to be salads, guys. Next month is going to be salad month, okay? It, it, it has to be because otherwise I'm, I'm going to die at a very early age. And you can see there's lots of oil in this cheese. You want to drip that to the side as well. But we'll keep our, our little spatula here at the ready. Pull off a little bit of that bird crust that's on there. Because when this is ready... We want to pull it up and fold it, but as you can see, it's not at the point yet where it'll just fold away. It's still very gooey, which uh, we need to form that crust before we can really fold it over our burger. But look at that. It's starting to brown in a couple of these spots, which is great. Now, go ahead and tell me in the comments, have you ever made a cheese blanket? Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's just about there. And as it's getting there, I'm actually going to put our burger right in the middle there. Because we want to be able to fold it right on top. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. 
You can see I'm able to slide under the edge. Still a little gooey on this side, but over here is looking pretty good. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. But I think pretty soon here, I will be able to start wrapping it. And guys, while it's going, I'm going to take some pictures because this is just, this is beautiful. This is a thing of beauty. And let's go ahead and start folding over some of this edges. You know, this I think can definitely fold on top. Oh yeah, look at that. And right here, coming up and over, as well as over here. Boom. Oh, baby. Look at that. Fold it up and over. And now this side here, right on top. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? And we're going to let it keep going for a minute here. And we're going to drip more of that grease right on over to the drip tray. I got some pictures. Goodness gracious, yeah, uh, this is this is something else, guys. Now this is gonna be my first time experiencing a burger done like this, but something tells me this could become a thing. If you think this could become a thing, a burger wrapped in a cheese blanket, leave your comment in the comments down below. Um, But yeah, I have, I have a good feeling about this. So here we go. We got our bottom bun. We're going to take this right on top. There we go. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. All right, guys. So we've got our, our bottom bun already. I'm going to come back up here with you. We got our bottom bun already. It's got the cheese blanket. And now we're going to move on to the next part, which is uh, cooking up our brisket. Okay, so again, move all this grease because there's a lot of grease in the cheese. Pull this grease away. So ah, be careful. You do not want to burn your house down. Uh, pulling it over into the drip tra drip pan, drip tray, whatever you want to call it, so that we don't have that going on because we're going to have plenty more from our other beef. But anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and put on some of our brisket flat. I pulled off a lot of fat, guys, because there's already so much fat in this. Um, but there's a ton of flavor in the meat itself. Mm. We're just going to sear that up. After we've seared that, we'll also sear up our brisket point, which is shredded and braised. And that too will be amazing. But I want to give you one more good look at this. Look at that cheese blanket just wrapped around the patty. You almost can't even tell it's a patty anymore. It's, uh, it's just, oh, uh, I, I'm excited to try this, guys. Mm. And, uh, oh, yeah, let me point you back down to the brisket, guys. Here we go. It doesn't take long. This is just a few pieces here. They're very thin. They're thin cut. But, yeah, give it a good little griddle here. And, mm, yeah, we're, we're in the money. This stuff is delicious it's super tender i cooked it uh, i i smoked it for probably only about eight hours but after i did that i sous vide cooked it for a day uh and gosh yeah it, you know i didn't have that much time to smoke it when i did it but i had plenty of time to sous vide because you don't need to watch that and uh, that really kind of if, if you don't have the time to smoke your brisket for like a full day definitely make sure you also have a sous vide cooker so that the smoking in the first couple hours will get you the flavor and then the sous vide will get you that tenderness that you're looking for. So now we take this, we put it right on top. A couple strips here of our smoked brisket. Okay. There we go. Right on top of our cheese blanket. And now we move on to our braised brisket point and just drop that down on there. This stuff, like I said, was made with a bunch of chilies and onions and garlic and stuff like that. We don't need a ton of it. You can use more than this if you like. 
I'm just going to do this because we already have so much beef going on here, guys, and so much flavor. I don't want any flavor to overpower another, even though we have so many good, strong flavors here. So this, give it a good little cook down and uh, get those fats rendered out. And you can give it a little press if you like. Uh, move it around. This griddle's hot in multiple places. So when you take some of that heat away, and then we'll give it a good flip here. Yeah, look at that. Brown and amazing. Hey, we got one more person in. Today has been a slow day on the watching. Maybe I need to move back to Facebook. Because, um, uh, yeah, almost nobody's seeing this right now on YouTube. Um, yeah, so maybe I need to move back to broadcasting on Facebook as well. Because uh, that seems to be a good way of getting people in here. That uh, it makes me a little bit sad. Nobody's here right now. But that's okay. Y'all can view it later. I'll go ahead and I'll... I'll, I'll you know, put the post up. I just, I, I love interacting with everyone who watches. And uh, so that's, uh, that's something that I'm missing right now, but that's okay. I'm still looking forward to trying this burger. We're going to give that another second. Mm. And now I'm going to turn the griddle off and we're going to put this braised brisket right on top. Right like that. Oh, my goodness. Guys. Guys. And we can scoop this bag now. Mess. Thoroughly accomplished. Guys, look look at this. Just look at that. We've got our, our, our cheese blanket around the burger patty. We've got our sliced brisket. We've got our braised brisket. This is a behemoth of a burger. Truly it is. It might not be as tall as some of the other ones I've made, but it really is something else. I'm going to put a little bit more sauce right on top. I see Jasper has jumped in. Hey, how's it going, Jasper? Huzzah, glad you're here. You jumped in just in time to see the burger, uh, and I'll show it to you one more time here. Look at that. So we got a cheese blanket wrapped around our burger patty, and on top of that, we've got sliced smoked brisket plus braised brisket point. Uh, it was braised with some wine, with some garlic, some chilies, some onion, all sorts of great flavors on there. So we've got three kinds of beef on this burger, plus a cheese blanket wrapped around the patty. And uh, we've got some some uh, some Carolina gold mustard on the bottom bun, some sunny sweet sauce on the top bun. I'm going to put a little bit more right on our brisket, because like I mentioned, I like my burgers saucy. So there we go. we got some more of that Carolina gold on top of the, the brisket. And we're also going to put a little bit more of the sunnies with the apple cider vinegar going the other way. Here we go. And uh, you guys, I think I just, I got to take a picture of this monster burger. I mean, we've made some really big burgers, but this one is just impressive. Like this one, I, uh, <laughs> I agree. He said, Jasper says, oh my God, that looks so good. You know, I, I agree, buddy. Um, this could be on the menu at David's. <laughs> you should introduce this to David's. I actually know the owner of David's Barbecue, Brian. He's a great guy. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll send him a picture so he can see. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work to make this burger, though, as you can see. It's taken almost 25 minutes to do so. I'm going to take another picture of it real quick just because, I mean, this is, this is an impressive burger. Um, yeah, here we go. A couple, a couple good pictures here. Boom. I got some good pictures here. So, yeah, Brian's a great guy, isn't he, Jasper? Um, so there we go. It's ready to uh, to eat. It's hot. It's messy. It's huge. I mean, look at this. Look at this burger. It's, oh, my gosh, all the juices are just, I mean, can you see this? The bottom bun of this Kaiser roll is falling apart. Um, I'm I'm ready, guys. Uh mm. By that brisket first. Ooh. <laughs> but here we go. Find a good bite with both kinds of brisket plus cheese blanket and burger. Here we go. Okay, right here. Here we go. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. I have a new favorite burger. This is the best. I just needed one bite to know this is the best burger I've ever had, guys. And I am 
No hesitation. This is amazing. Guys, guys, the crispiness of the cheese. I am, I am so excited about this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is this is incredible. Like you can tell how excited I am. I mean, I'm usually pretty excited about birds, but oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. All those flavors coming together so well. And, you know, I love it. A good crispy cheese, a good crispy cheddar, a slight burn on the cheddar is just fantastic. But it still has the traditional melty, gooey cheddar in the middle of that blanket. And then you've got the beef from the burger. Just a good standard ground beef flavor. Plus those two kinds of brisket. Oh, my gosh. It's it's hard to describe, but I, I'm, I'm feeling emotional right now, guys. I really am. This is, oh my gosh, I was not expecting, I was expecting it to be good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. And Jasper just said, oh gosh, I'm going to use my messy hand, but use my thumb knuckle. I have never seen you like this before. I've never seen me like this with a burger. This is, this is incredible. This really is incredible, guys. Um, this, <laughs> this. Maybe, there's no maybe. This is the best burger I've ever made. Like, bar none, no doubt, this is the best burger I have ever made. Mmm. You guys, I just, I cannot express how happy I am about this burger. Like, I could, I could just eat this all day and... Oh my gosh. Mm. I feel like I need some time alone with this burger. Like, if you know me, you know my theory on sandwiches, and burgers are a sandwich. In order to be a great sandwich, it has to be messy. It cannot be something that doesn't make a mess. Mm. Sorry, I'm just my hands, my everything is covered in sauce right now, guys. Um, this is one of the messiest sandwiches I've ever had, ever made. And to call it great would be an understatement. Truly, this is this is the best burger I have ever had. I just I, I'm having trouble coming up with words for it. It's just, it's incredible. It's incredible. You got the subtle sweetness, not even subtle sweetness. You've got the sweetness coming from that sunny sweet sauce, plus the apple cider vinegar, adding a bit of a tang and a bit of a bite. Then you've also got the, uh, the, the Carolina Gold, which Carolina Gold sauce is really easy, guys. It's honey mustard and, and hot sauce. I use Frank's Red Hot Buffalo, and then, you know, your choice of honey mustard. It's, it's amazing. But using those, those come through fantastically, as they should on a burger. Um, you've got a slight bit of smoke coming from the sliced brisket. You've got all those flavors melded in from the chili peppers and the garlic and the onion inside the braised brisket. It's, I don't know what to say, guys. So Jasper, in response to me saying best burger I've ever had, says, that's high praise. It's deserving of that praise cater them. I would love to, but I'm afraid I would eat them all before they manage to make it to the catering, the people I'm catering for, for, for whom I'm catering, you know, make a bunch and make a food sale outside of your house. I might do a food truck, you know, I mean, goodness gracious, you only need one kind of burger when you got a burger like this. Use some foil, package them and sell them. Who knows? Maybe, but discount burger, $7 per burger. Heck no. I would sell them for more than seven bucks. This is, this is, gosh, guys, I would pay 20 bucks for this burger. I really would. I would pay $20 for this burger. This is, it's that good. It really is. Without question, I would pay 20 bucks for this burger, especially considering how much goes into it. You have smoked brisket. You have braised brisket. Both of those take hours upon hours to make. And then you got the cheese blanket wrapped around the beef patty. This this is a thing of beauty right here. Mm. 
Mm. And they did not need the extra fat on the edge of the brisket, the 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 the, the brisket flat. I pulled that fat off before riddling it and threw it away. I know it's a crime, but did not need it. Anyway, guys, been about a half hour here. Um, and I am so happy with this burger. Honestly, Grab says maybe $12, no New York City prices. Um, man, if I were going to do it for 12 bucks, I would make it smaller. Oh, I see mom's jumped in. Hey, ma. Huzzah. Glad you're here. $19 per burger in New York. Well, you know what? This is the kind of burger that, honestly, you could justify that price. You really could. <laughs> it's, it's, once again, I will say it again. It is the best burger I have ever had. And look at this. Oh, my God. I'm going to peel off some of this cheese blanket. Mmm. Just incredible. I mean, here's another look from the side here. You can see there's a piece of the patty from in between the cheese blanket. You got the brisket here, the, the sliced brisket, and then the braised brisket on top of right here. Another good big bite with everything here. Mmm. This is it. This is Burger Nirvana. This is... Burger Nirvana. And uh, Jasper's asking, what is March's theme going to be on the channel? So I still have some more burgers to do this, mo this month because this is the last week of Burger Month. And we'll start our new month theme next Saturday because that's the first Saturday of February, uh, or sorry, of March. March's theme is going to be salads. <laughs> After all these burgers I've had, I need something a little lighter. My my stomach is just like, bruh, you've, eaten, you've been eating burgers for a month. Uh... And yeah, but don't worry, guys. I'm thinking we need to have another burger month because this has been amazing. And I have so many more burger ideas, plus so many classics that I haven't made yet. So we will be having another burger month. It's just a matter of when we're going to do that burger month. In the meantime, February is going to be salad month. Don't worry. It's not going to be boring. We got all just like burgers. There are different a thousand different kinds of salads that you can make. So to, to put an end to it, guys. To, oh, Jasper says, make Burger Month July. That's not a bad idea. Um, but anyway, much love, guys. Appreciate, appreciation to those of you who, who came and joined today. Um, and for those of you who are going to watch later, oh, my gosh. Make this burger. Make it. It's worth taking a day to smoke the brisket. It's worth taking a day to braise. Well, not a day. It doesn't take a day to braise brisket. But it's worth taking the time to braise the brisket. It's worth it. All around, it is so, so entirely worth it. This is the best burger I've ever had, and it'll be the best burger you've ever had. The ultimate beefer. I, you know, I, I regret that name a little bit, but it is fitting. It is, or maybe it just needs to be the ultimate burger, um, because this is the ultimate burger. It's the best burger I've ever had, and I know I've said it a thousand times, but my... My mind has not changed at all, and that it, it's more and more true every time I take a bite and every time I say it. Mm. Mm. Well, that's it, guys. That's it. I got nothing else for you today. For those of you who stuck around, Jasper, Mom, whoever else stuck around, thank you for being here, guys. Marie, I know you jumped in, too. I appreciate all of you. Wash my hands one more time so I can hit that end button without covering my computer in grease and barbecue sauce. But, yeah, one more time. <laughs> it doesn't need ketchup. It doesn't need grilled onions or bacon or anything like that. And you won't often hear me say it doesn't need bacon, but it does not need bacon. We've got Kaiser Roll. We've got cheese blanket wrapped 80-20 ground chuck. We've got smoked brisket once again seared on the, on the griddle. We've got shredded braised brisket seared on the griddle. And then we've got two kinds of barbecue sauce, sunny sweet sauce mixed with apple cider vinegar and Carolina gold. 
perfect. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Yes, as Jasper just said, some guy who cooks out. I'll uh, I'll catch you guys next time. A couple different burgers coming at you this week. Please comment below what you what you think uh, what you think I should make. I'm going to tell you now. One of the burgers is going to be a uh, what's it called? Um, a breakfast burger, New Jersey style. I'm going to be using Taylor ham slash pork roll instead of bacon. And one of the burgers is going to be a chili cheese beer can burger. I've already filmed that episode, so you should be seeing that possibly even tomorrow. And then the other burger, there's going to be one more burger. I want you guys to vote on this one. It, it, you've got two choices, okay? okay? One of them I call the ATB, the all-terrain burger. And what that is is it's a, uh, a chicken cutlet wrapped in ground beef, wrapped in bacon, topped with fish sticks and mozzarella sticks, the all-terrain burger, okay? Covering all, all choices. The other one that I was planning on doing is uh, a creation of mine, a very fancy burger that's super delicious. I make a spinach cheese blend that I put on one of the buns. And then the burger itself is candied with brown sugar, chili powder, and garlic. And then I top it with, like I said, that spinach cheese blend, also with some seared prosciutto, and then some balsamic grilled arugula. It's super delicious. It is super fancy looking and amazing. It's a great burger, guys. So anyway, go ahead and vote between those two burgers, what you'd like to see. I see Jasper has said mac and cheese burger, please. We'll add that to the list. Mac and cheese burger is the third choice of those burgers. Let me know which one you want. Comment down below, do you want mac and cheese burger, prosciutto arugula burger, or all-terrain burger? Uh, leave that in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Some guy who cooks out, out, out at 5,000. Well, no, it's BHP 9,000 is my – never mind. Whatever. <laughs> see you guys next time.